Hey there, this is Mathia Ford with Renal Diet HQ. And today I want to talk about healthy eating while you're driving around, around, going around, doing whatever you need to do. And I, um, I want to share with you my blog post I wrote about this. Um, it's renaldiethq.com forward slash healthy dash eating dash on dash the dash go dash with dash ckd for those of you listening so if you have a, a hard time finding that um but today i want to talk to you because it's hard enough to manage your diet and to watch what you're eating when you have chronic kidney disease and you're at home and you can make all your meals and you can control everything um but if you're out and about doing things like going to your grandkids' soccer games or traveling in your RV or doing whatever, um, there's no need for it to slow you down. There's things you can do to help improve your diet, and I want to talk to you about those today. Um, you are going to probably have to make some adjustments to your eating habits when you're away from home in order to stick with your diet. Um, to know, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, to know what you're um, going to have to do so it's not as easy as just driving up to a drive through when you have some dietary restrictions. There's some things that you're going to need to do so you don't, you know, cause worse problems for your kidneys. So a few, few tips and ideas just to get you through this. Um, it can be done with some planning. So number one is to know your dietary restrictions. Do you have to um, limit salt? Do you have to listen, limit potassium? Do you have to limit phosphorus? Do you have to limit protein? Do you have to limit fluid? All of those things are important to know. And it's also important to know the priority. So if you're a dialysis patient and you need to limit your fluid and that's the number one priority, that's more important than worrying about you know, how much uh, protein or potassium or phosphorus. So talk to your doctor, talk to your nurse, talk to your dietitian about what one of those is the priority if you have to choose, because sometimes you will have to choose. Um, you need to know, like, if there's some no-no foods out to eat, if there's some foods that are absolutely no, just because you can't have enough control over them. Like, if you are trying to watch your potassium and French fries. French fries are going to be salty and they're fried and they have a lot of potassium and there's no way you can control that. So you may have to avoid those. I'm not saying you do. I'm just saying if you know there's a food that you may have to avoid, please be aware of that ahead of time. Um, plan for your outings. So if you know you're going to have a busy day, then you want to make sure that you kind of identified some things. So you're going to have something to eat maybe before you go out so that you're not hungry and wanting to eat something. Um, you're going to identify where you could potentially get like a good snack food item um, that you can use to eat, you know, when you're out. So is there a bar that you can eat? Is there a fruit? Maybe you can take a bag of strawberries or some blueberries with you. Um, those types of things to take along and to plan ahead keeps you from just grabbing whatever is available. So um, I know that a lot of times we have questions about what what is going to be good for us, and if we can take some of those along, that's a good thing. Um, along those same lines, choosing some healthy snacks that you can pack and take with you Keep your bag or your um, a little cooler or something packed with uh, smart snacks like grapes and some um, maybe some nuts are okay that are unsalted that can kind of hold you over. So you don't want to have to grab something out of the vending machine at the last minute. Know what you're putting in your mouth. You're going to want to look at nutrition labels or read the label when you're getting something. You're going to want to ask questions. Um, if you're at a restaurant, you're going to want to ask them how they prepare something. Even if you're getting the light version, even if you're just getting a chicken breast, do they add butter? Do they add salt? Do they marinate it? Do they um, put 
any special sauce on it in the back? Can they do any of that differently? Those are the questions you want to ask. Keep your own seasonings on hand. Um, I'm kind of excited because we're coming out with a line of seasonings, but um, keep your own seasonings where you can get them in your bag so that if you get that plain chicken breast and you ask them to put nothing on it, you know it's safe to put that seasoning on that um, and keeps you know you from having a bland food or even try to put a little salt on something at the table. Be prepared for unexpected trips. So always know kind of what restaurants are safe places to eat that are going to provide you with the best opportunities. Maybe it's Subway where you can get white bread and you can limit the amount of um, meat or you can get just a vegetable salad, whatever it takes to be able to limit your um, manage your your diet and you're able to do it, you know, around where you're going to be. So those unexpected places, that's also where it comes in good to have something in your bag to take along. Um, so the other thing we don't always think about is portion control. So when you're home, you probably put your amount on your plate and you kind of are used to your plate size. When we're at a restaurant, the plate size can be a little different or um, the portion sizes can be larger than what we're used to. So just be extra aware and even ask, you know, a lot of times I'll go to a restaurant and they'll have um, a steak, but it won't have the portion size. So you can ask specifically, you know, what is this, a six ounce, a four ounce, a five ounce, whatever. Um, look at the kid's menu. A lot of times the kid's menu will have smaller size portions, and most places will let you get those from the kid's menu. But just watch your portions. Um, research and find out what are the healthy options in your area and, and make your family aware of that. You know, it's not that you can't ever go to the other places, but if you're picking, know kind of where you can get that salad with this, with the uh, vinegar and oil to put on it. So you don't have any of this extra salt, calories, stuff like that. So know where you can get a simple salad, know where you can get a simple sandwich, know where you can get a simple chicken breast and, be aware of what you're going to eat at that restaurant. You didn't go to the restaurant. You might have gone to the restaurant for the food, and that's good. But most of it, you went for the camaraderie and people that you're going to be around. And so enjoy that time, and don't let that food um, get in your way or of doing that. So allow yourself that and drink. You know, if you're allowed fluid freely, drink plenty of water to help fill you up so you don't overeat. Um, keep your water there, keep your water available. It does help to make you feel more full if you drink a couple glasses of water. And as long as you're not limited on your um, intake, water is going to be a healthy solution for you. Um, and last of all, if you are on them and you need them, take your phosphorus binders when you're eating. So phosphorus binders work best when they're used with the foods that you're eating. So you can't just take them later or take them early. You need to take them with your meals. So it's going to limit the amount of phosphorus that your body takes in. And so having those with you, being prepared, um, is the best solution for that. One of the things that you can do is pack your lunches with you, take it with you so you don't have to go through the drive through That will also save you a little money. Um, Simple sack lunches are better than being tempted by your restaurant menu. So some healthy ideas for lunch when you're out um, to take with you. A low sodium lunch meat on white bread, like a chicken, turkey, or a pork, sliced um, sandwich meat. No salt added canned tuna. Um, and then you could do some crackers with that. Egg salad, make your own so you kind of know what's in there. Fruits like apples, peaches, grapes, strawberries with you all the time. Um, healthy sides like a bag of uh, microwavable popcorn that's unsalted that you can usually you can find in microwave somewhere. Um, pretzels that are unsalted. Uh, those types of things that you really can do well to just have with you. So. Um, I'm not seeing any questions, but 
just a good idea to um, be aware of the foods you're putting in your body at every meal so you don't exceed your dietary restrictions because they're there and they help you and you will feel so much better if you're able to stick to them. But the other thing is, is that sometimes our body tricks us and says like, I, I think of it like a last meal. Like we go, oh, this is the last time I can ever have cheesecake pie. No, it's not. You can have a, a bite of it and not overdo it. And then next time you're around it, have another bite. But you, you really get the most enjoyment out of food in the first couple bites. So that's where mindful eating comes in place. And putting that food in your mouth and really tasting it, really enjoying the flavor letting it kind of sit there in your mouth for a minute and let all the taste buds absorb what they're going to absorb and those first couple bites are where the food's going to taste the best after that your taste buds kind of get overwhelmed so if that's all you really need is so just take those couple of bites enjoy it you're not missing out on anything but you're not overdoing it either so I want to encourage you to kind of practice some mindfulness when you're out, especially uh, just thinking through what is what is the best way to get the most flavor out of this without overdoing it. Um, we have lots of recipes on our blog. If you go to renaldiethq.com and there's a link at the top that says Zestify, and that's where our um, recipes are, and they have the nutritional information with them. So if you're cooking at home or making something, um, you can already know how it fits into your diet, and you can know the portions, and that way, staying on track, staying with what you need to do. So have a great day, and head on over to the website to sign up for the email, and we'll send you a seven-day meal plan. And other than that, I want to encourage you to stick with your diet and enjoy your health while you can. Thanks.